Hey, what's up? Good morning, channel members. Greatly appreciate you guys. Chuck, Larry, Elizabeth, all of y'all got the blue bull next to your name. Thank you guys very much for supporting the channel. Yeah. It's going to be a fun Monday. I can already tell. Friday was insane. <laughs> I took five trades on Friday. That's not typically what I do. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of opportunity on Friday. So we had fun with it. Did a little bit of uh, YOLOs like on GameStop. But it was a uh, Friday was a really good day. So hopefully you guys did print the entire watch list printed. Yeah, hopefully you guys made some money. Good morning. How was everybody's weekend? Everybody have a good weekend? You guys relax, spend time with family. I spent my entire weekend packing. So I need to have like a, a five minute work day today so I can get everything out of here and move. Yeah, I'm excited. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Again, start start the live stream off with a like it would be greatly appreciated we got 86 people in here and only 36 likes so 50 of you have not clicked that like button make sure you do so um but yeah so good good hey that's awesome so yeah a uh, couple news things that i saw pop up one india did a ban on wheat exports so that's why we saw wheat gap up uh five percent so hopefully i don't know exactly how much our wheat contracts are going to be up i thought it would gap up a little more but i'm assuming around like 75 percent is what the contracts are going to be at maybe a little more um if it holds this 12 dollar level we'll probably hit around 100 percent. but yeah i'm assuming anywhere in between like 75 85 percent these contracts are going to be at so yeah wheat futures are up big time um, have three runners. I do want to see what happens there. Hopefully we don't fill the gap down before the market open or I will be highly upset And then uh, GameStop got a new CEO, I believe uh, So I do want to watch that over a hundred that could be a nice little trade there We also have that one hour squeeze and then fang Acquired some company. I forget what it was. I wanted to see if they like gapped up or down, but looks like they're not doing too much so yeah, let's uh let's make this watch list. Tons of swings this week that I'm gonna be watching. Tons of them. But yeah, again, make sure you guys click that like button. It would be greatly appreciated. Let's run it up. Let's find a watch list and let's make some money. And then I also had a uh a nice Euro USD trade, which hit 71 pips this morning. So trim some off, holding the rest and cool let's start get this over here we got uso running right now yeah we're gonna look at gis uh we bought the ten dollar calls when they were already in the money yes 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 they were cheap enough to do so usually i don't buy in the money unless one that's the only place where the liquidity is or two they're very cheap which these were yeah yeah disclaimer everything talked about in this live stream is based on my opinion and my opinion only options trading is very very risky i'm not a certified financial advisor make sure to do your own due diligence and use proper risk management in options trading you can lose more than your initial investment so i am not responsible for any lost funds again everything is based on my opinion my opinion only Right now, we are in USO swings. We're in those light. I will look to add. Uh, but we're just going to watch that on the side. Nice daily squeeze. Clorox. I do really like that. If we can crack over 160.54 or 160.59, whatever that level is. So I'll just create an alert for now. Good morning. Facebook. Uh, really? What, what level is this? Maybe over 200. Look for a little scalper. Got any squeezes? Nope. Maybe we get a nice pre-market high too. We might be able to snag off of this level. We'll see. Um, But yeah, above, I would say above 200 for calls. Maybe below 196 for puts. So we'll put Facebook on the list for now. 
Ah, that's what it is. Thank you, Craig. GIS, looking for the swing there. Apparently, a lot of people are watching this. I was going through uh, Twitter last night, and a lot of people are watching this setup. So, fingers crossed. Maybe we can even get a snag. Like, if it pulls back to 71.25, I'll look to snag some there as well. But I would really, really like it above 73.9. So, right now, we're just playing the waiting game. And the level two off. There we go. Again, make sure you guys click on that like button. Remember, 150 likes if you guys want the watch list. Hershey, watching this one. Really depends where the liquidity is here. Because as of now, there's not too much liquidity in the contract. So we'll see. Monster. Going to keep our eye on that. MPC. Let's keep our eye on that one today. I want to see what happens. Again, it's the third Friday of the month right now. So, um, this is typically where the swing traders are, and that's where the most liquidity is. So, we can actually day trade MPC this week, which is going to be nice. Microsoft, are you breaking out? Nice one hour squeeze, puts below here, calls above there. Cool. I like Microsoft. MSFT. Gang, gang, good morning. NVIDIA Solid level on NVIDIA right there actually Even there isn't too bad Watch both ways on NVIDIA NVDA Good morning I didn't go to the gym this morning Because I got to pack stuff Or not pack stuff but move stuff I feel like super tired <clears throat> But if NVIDIA AMD MU go this is more than likely gonna go with it. Could uh, this thing moves three dollars twenty two cents a day? There is liquidity in this. We could actually, we could probably day trade this. O N. We're gonna watch that. AT and T. Looking for in the money calls, and then U S O. Again, we're already in those. Cool. So day trade stocks. Let's see what we got. Apple. One hour squeeze. That's all good. I got a bunch of people. Let's see. 147.29, 148.1. I hate Apple. AMD. Looks like we're actually flagging here on AMD. Nice four hour flag. Maybe, let's see, 95.6. Would be quite interested to see what happens there. Yeah, let's see if we can crack 95.6 on AMD. I'd be interested. Hey, join in Team Bull tomorrow. That's what I like to see. Let's do it. Also, I'm not going to be live tomorrow. Uh, fiance graduates at 10 a.m. So I have to be there at 9.30. Like 9 or 9.30. Uh, so yeah, I won't be live with you guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. But yeah, if you want to join the discord or you want to follow me on Instagram, do a one-on-one, -on -one, whatever it is, uh, the link is going to be in there. Uh, let's see, where's info posted for the main mentorship supposed to start this afternoon. Uh, it starts tonight at 7 PM Eastern time. Again, if you purchase the men, the mentorship and you are not in the server, DM us ASAP because if you don't join, there's no refunds. So that's completely on you. AMD, or what is this? Boeing. Boeing's in a very narrow range. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, is there liquidity? In the 130s. Maybe. Let's see. Hey, you're in the Discord. Uh DM me on Discord real quick. Send me send me your receipt, send me the email, send me the payment, everything. I'll send you an invite. 
Baba not interested in. Coin not interested in. Costco not interested in. Chevron will be up to today. Uh, did we crack? No, we did not. We're sitting at the high with a nice 30 minute squeeze. Ooh, I like that. Chevron. Love. Not interested in Baba. Let's see, we looked at Facebook, Microsoft. We already looked at Microsoft. And video, we looked at that. PayPal. See, not too interested. Roku, 98.5, could take it to 100. Decent amount of liquidity in Roku. Roku. SQ, not really interested. Target, no liquidity. Tesla. Even Tesla squeezing really hard. Nice one hour, 30 minute squeeze. Either above 775 or below 757. Tesla. Yeah, we literally just bought USO on Friday. Why would I not hold it? People ask me the same thing about wheat. We like literally just bought wheat. And it was down 20%. People are like, are you still holding? Yes, I'm still holding. <laughs> every time with the swing trades, every time. Patience. Uh, look in the volume and open interest. That's how you find the liquidity. How many likes we got? 105, again, make sure you guys keep liking it up. Would be greatly appreciated, but Let's see what we like today. I know. I'm surprised we didn't get a uh, a limit up off of that news. Limit ups are 7%. Gapped up 5%. Even though that's like, that's huge news. Uh, I don't know. Facebook, iffy because it's at that psychological number of 200 so we'll come back to that. Oh, does it? We shall check, Chuck. <laughs> uh, NPC, maybe. I actually do really like that Chevron setup. I like the squeeze. Microsoft. Honestly, yeah, let's look at SPY and QQQ real quick. Uh, yeah, SPY is a one hour squeeze. Break above, Friday's high is probably gonna fire up. Break below, pre-market lows, probably gonna fire down. Uh, Jay, it's in the, uh, it's in this link right here, if you wanna do a one-on-one. -on -one. But yeah, SPY has a nice squeeze. QQQ, I'm assuming is squeezing as well. Yep. Nice one-hour squeeze, same thing. So let me uh let me tell everybody in the Discord. Spy and QQQ currently in a one hour squeeze. So yes, uh two squeezes that we do gotta pay attention to. Thanks for making me check that. It actually looks like QQQ is doing a little inverse head and shoulders on the four hour. Inverse head and shoulder on four hour. Cool. See, so yeah, maybe it comes down and it forms that shoulder, and then you know we end up getting the push, or maybe this is the shoulder, but the neckline is roughly like. 
let's say right here is where that neckline is. Cool. So there's that. Uh, what was the last thing we looked at? I think it was Microsoft, NVIDIA. I like NVIDIA if we can get above 179.28, or actually maybe even 176.51. Uh, anything on my book the editors literally must have gave the book to some blind person because there's no edits done to it and i'm highly irritated with them not only were they five business days behind they told me it would take anywhere from five to ten business days it took them 15 business days to give me my book back and as me and my friend are editing it we're like did these people even edit the book whatsoever they did not. There were so many spelling errors in there, and it, it, it was stupid. So right now I'm talking to the owner because they know that I will make a scene about it. I will. So it best be giving me my money back plus an edited book. I do really like this ON though. All right, let's, uh, where's that Chevron? Yep, story of my life. Is it really gonna do this again? There we go. Let's see, what do we got? 170.35. Orange. 171.09. I'm getting that book out by the end of the month, though. It's got, it's, it's done. I'm just waiting on these people not to be stupid. there yeah that a uso or not uso chevron looks really good where you guys go oh trust me i'll be a carl you want to know they accidentally dm'd me something Hold on, let me read it out. Pretty sure they meant to send this to someone else. After I went off on my little rant. Uh, let's see. This person was tweeting about people shouldn't be using our editing service after receiving his late and with errors. There are some big profile people following it, and he seems to be an influencer in the trading world. So didn't want this to get out of hand. <laughs> I guess I'm an influencer in the trading world. No, I, I just, I literally want to drop the whole book. I want it to be out. I worked so hard. It's been a year, literally almost a year since I started working on it. I worked, or I started in June. So I just want it out. It's going to be a banger of a book. I can guarantee you that I'm excited. Chevron, beautiful, 30 minute squeeze. Looking for a break above 168.8 for calls. Price target equal. Yeah, I don't know. Either the editor was super, super lazy or they were blind, one of the two. Yeah, my influence is not not responsible for any losses. I just speak my mind, freedom of speech. I mess with the wrong people. That's straight facts. One seventy two ninety eight. Bingo. There's Chevron. So we'll watch that setup again. The crude oil futures—they look really, really strong. I would not be surprised if that squeeze did fire up. 
Yeah, I should have sent my message in Braille and said, can you give this to the editor? Maybe they'll know what I'm saying. All right, let's start back at the top of the list. I'm gonna take Facebook off. It's just not at a, a level that I like. So I'm just gonna ignore it. NPC, just keep an alert, gonna take that off. Uh, let's see, Microsoft. I could have literally hired somebody on Fiverr and had it done already. Probably at a much better extent too. It's just super annoying. Especially because the main thing was I wanted to drop the book on my fiance's birthday, which was Saturday. And that didn't even happen. So fun times. Uh, 262.2, 263.04, 267.56. Actually, surprisingly, Fiverr is super expensive. They wanted like $1,300 to do the book, which like I'll, I'll spend it. It's a tax write-off, but yeah, this website was 600 so like more than double and somebody actually told me to use this website somebody that i did a one-on-one -on -one with um he released a few books that did number one in the wall street journal and he said yeah use this website they've done my books i don't know anyways microsoft i love this setup if we can get that breakout, we'll watch that. NVIDIA. Oh, I broke that one level. Um, If we get an NVIDIA, I mean, even that, the break below 175 isn't too bad either for puts. So I do like that. I mean, ON looks pretty solid. There we go. If you're a small account, you can watch ON. Um, 5662 looks like a pretty key level. Uh, we might put this on the list. Question mark. Big fat question mark right next to it. I do my support resistance based off monthly, weekly, daily, four hour, one hour, and then I use my person's pivots. Looks like AMD is trying to crack. AMD, love. Boeing. Uh, Boeing might break. Come back to Boeing. Raku. Yeah, I really like 78.5 or even a bounce at 94.47. Take it to 100, just psychological resistance. Haven't traded Roku in, good God. It's been a long time since I traded Roku. Again, make sure you guys are clicking that like button. We're 20 likes away from hitting the goal. So if you guys do want a Free market watch list. I highly suggest you click the like button. Or I'm going to find out who the 50 of you are that did not click that like button. And I'm going to send everybody that clicked the like button to your house. <laughs> oh, yeah. GME. Duh. Uh, let's see. Roku. Love. <clears throat> Tesla. We got to look at GME here in a minute. Tesla doesn't look so bad. Tesla might find its way onto the list. I like that. Anyways, GME. 
Uh, 100 is going to be the big level to watch. Nice one hour squeeze, new CEO. Uh, let's see, liquidity in the 105 calls. Contracts are going to be roughly, let's see, around $300. <laughs> dang right okay um the ones that i really like going into today is microsoft if we can crack above 262.2 nvidia either or really I would have liked it if it stayed here, but if it does get above 179.28, I will be interested. Um, if the market pulls below 175, that's also very interesting. Dang right. Shout out to all the grandmas and the moms that like the video. Even the dads, grandpas, whoever you are. I greatly appreciate you. But I do like NVIDIA. I like AMD. I think what we're going to do, we're going to put Roku on the list. We're going to put Tesla on the list. Roku for a possible bounce, 94.5. Even though I hate trading bounces. Looks like a more high probability bounce. liquidity is in the 100 calls perfect those are going to be uh contracts are at 4.4 .4 minus 135 so like 305 310 my bad so roku liking this setup a lot over 98.5 for calls to take to 100 or a bounce at 94.5 all right so roku tesla there we go all i had to do was starting to get the 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 likes the current people that have clicked the likes to threaten you guys <laughs> love it Yeah, seven seventy five point seven. How? Why? Why does it keep doing that? I don't get it. Also, it kind of looks like we have a little symmetrical triangle. No. Actually, do we have confluence there? It looks like we do. I would say be careful of this trend line. Actually, ignore that trend line. Here's our neckline. Neckline. See what we can get here. What would be a huge explosion would be if Tesla can get above 787.35. Cool. see friday's lows right here basically at that daily pivot and then 744 boom all right there's the tesla levels so tesla beautiful one hour and 30 minute squeeze above 776 for calls 
price target equal 787.35. Eight hundred and then eight oh five, eight hundred, eight oh five point five below seven fifty seven point four for puts price target equal seven fifty one point fifty seven. 750, 744. Boom, there's Tesla. Let's see if we can find one more. We put Roku on the list, we put Tesla on the list. Hold on. Some questions in the chat. Uh, David, I just trade blue chip companies. Everyday names, Facebook, Tesla, Microsoft, Apple, AMD, NVIDIA, Roku, SQ, PayPal. Uh, let's see what time frame do you wait to close? I don't wait for a time frame to close if you wait You could be missing the whole trade 30 seconds in a day trade is way too long If you're sitting there waiting 30 seconds the move could be over So as soon as it breaks my level and I look at the level 2 and it confirms boom, I'm in uh, Let's see uh, what would be a USO price target. Um, honestly, I don't really have a price target on USO. Just the levels that I put, those aren't, I mean, yeah, they're price targets, but I'm just gonna see what I can get out of it. If it goes, it goes. If not, we're light size right now. But overall, I would like 86.17 and 87.84. Ultimately, I would like 93.31, but we'll see. So let's see, let's run through the list one more time, see if we like anything. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know why they would add AMC, but. What is this? Uh... Maybe with Microsoft. I do really like that squeeze. Maybe even squeeze it down. Doesn't look too bad. I got no idea if Apple's gonna hit 150 today. Trust me, if I could tell you it's gonna hit 150 today, I would base a trade off of it and probably make a million dollars. But I do not know. I do like NVIDIA on the short side, or if market pumps. AMD on the long side doesn't look too bad. 95.6. ninety five. Come back to AMD, we'll see. We're gonna take ON off, we're gonna take Boeing off. Actually, let's take a look at Boeing real quick. BA. Uh, if you're a small account, or actually if you want something to watch, you can watch Boeing above 127.3 for calls or below 126.6 for puts. Uh, me and Boeing, we're just currently not on good terms. So yeah, I'm gonna take that off. GME. My area of interest is 100. GME above 100, we could see a lot higher levels. Could just be a momentum trade on GME. It doesn't look too bad. Just throw that on the list for now. GME. Interested to see what happens above 100. Maybe we can even reject it at 100. 
but we'll see. So there's GME. And then the last one's probably going to be AMD, to be honest with you. I'm going to wait a little closer to market open. Um, but I would like to see AMD above 95.6 for calls. And then we could take it to the, the price targets previously mentioned. But yeah. That is everything I'm going to be watching as of today. And you can also watch Microsoft. But here's the watch list since we did hit 150 likes. I greatly appreciate you guys. Again, spying QQQ, they are squeezing on the one hour. We got to pay attention to which way the squeeze does fire. So we do have a one hour squeeze. It is above the moving averages. Odds are it is going to fire up, but it needs to crack above 403.18 in order for this thing to fire up. However, if it cracks below 398.35, it will lose the moving averages and it will more than likely fire down. Same thing with QQQ. Looks like we're getting a little inverse head and shoulders. This area right here is going to be very interesting to see what happens. One hour squeeze above moving averages, crack above the shoulder, this thing's gonna go. However, if we break below that pre-market support, squeeze is gonna fire down. So watch those. In the meantime, Chevron, Roku, Tesla, GME. Again, I am not a certified financial advisor. Everything talked about is based on my opinion and my opinion only. Make sure you guys do your own due diligence and use your own proper risk management. If you lose money, I'm not responsible. But yeah, let's um, let's hope we can have a 30 minute work day so I can roll out. Again, I will not be live tomorrow. I will be back on Wednesday. But yeah, let's run it up. Let's make some money off of this wheat. And as always, I hope everybody's able to make money. And I'll talk to everybody on Wednesday. If you're in the Discord server, I'll talk to you in like 20 minutes. If you're not in the Discord server, hold on, don't leave yet. Uh, let's see, where's the link? Here it is. See, so yeah, if you're not in the Discord, here you go. Alrighty, everybody enjoy your day.